open a Chrome browser and go to app.glean.co to log into the Glean website. Log in with the SJSU email and password that was created. Next, click New Event and type in the name of the event. This could be the name of the class, topic, or date. After that, choose the Record button in the upper left-hand corner of the Glean window. Choose Microphone to record in-person classes. Choose either Screen Audio or Screen Audio and Mic to record Zoom classes. Screen Audio and Mic will record both a lecture and your own microphone. At the bottom of the screen, there is a text box area. This is where notes for the lecture can be added. Once the note is added, click the right arrow on the right-hand side of the text box or click the Enter Return key on the keyboard. When the note is selected, it will display the timestamp. In order to break up the audio, click Heading and give the audio a title. Once the title is created, click the arrow on the right-hand side of the text box or click the Enter Return key on the keyboard to save. There are two preset labels, Important and Review. Example, click Review, type in the note, and save. There is also an option to add an image. Click the image icon and click Import to upload an image from the computer. Another option is to search an image. Once the image is selected, it will show in the notes. There is also the Post Definition tool. Looks like a tab icon. Search a word from Wikipedia and it will show the information found in the notes. The Post Task tool looks like a box with a check mark. Type in the task that you want to create and it will add it to your notes and audio. The task can be saved by clicking the arrow on the right hand side or clicking your enter return key. Click the box next to the task once it is completed. The task can also be found on the main menu page on the left hand side. Click tasks. This will show both the incomplete and completed tasks. A task that has been completed can be moved to incomplete by clicking the box next to the task. Click the Lightning Mode tool that looks like a lightning bolt to enable the shortcut keys for the tools. Click the three dots in the upper right hand corner to import slides, then click Import Slides. Choose the slides from the computer. The slides have to be either a PowerPoint or PDF file, then click Open. Click on the slide to make it full screen and click the slide again to zoom out. Click on the audio file and then click the Post Slide button on the left-hand bottom side of the screen to add the slide to the audio section. The slide title can be renamed. Slides can also be added before recording the audio. Click New Event and then click the Import Slides button on the center left-hand side of the screen. Then click Open. Next, click the Record button and the slide will be added to the audio. Click the Post Next Slide button on the left-hand bottom side of the screen to add the next slide to the audio. Click Convert to Text to convert the audio to text. This process may take some time depending on the size of the audio. Once the audio is converted, there will be two tab buttons audio, and text. The text converted can be added to the notes section by selecting the text and clicking post. Click on the audio and then click the play button to play back the audio. Click the 1x button to adjust the playback speed. Welcome to your first lecture in module 1.21, Relativity and Time Travel. The question, is time travel possible? has occupied some of the greatest minds of our time, from renowned scientists such as Einstein and Stephen Hawking, to famous authors and filmmakers. 
Our aim on this module is to attempt to amp Click the Reading View icon to view the notes section separately from the audio. The notes can be printed or copied and moved to another application, like Microsoft Word, Pages, or Google Docs. All Glean events will be saved to the cloud. In order to save Glean as an app to the computer, click the icon in the search bar that looks like a square with an arrow. The visual audio can be hidden by clicking the layout icon and then click the on off button. A study timer can be set by selecting the timer icon. A timer can be set for 10, 15, or 30 minutes, and then click Start Timer. An event can be deleted by clicking the dots icon next to the event name, then click Delete Event. Events can be organized by creating a collection. Click New Collection and give it a name. An existing event can be moved by scrolling over the event and then click Move Event. It will add the event to the collection. An event can be added directly to the collection by first selecting the collection and then click the New Event button. Click the Search button on the left-hand side to search Collections, Events, and Notes. The Need Help button on the left-hand side will show help topics and the option to contact Glean. The Guided Tour button on the left-hand side will show a tutorial video and give links to other help topics. The Glean color can be changed by clicking the rainbow icon at the top of the page. Click the question mark icon in the upper right-hand corner for more help topics. One new feature in Glean is Audio Cleanup. Students can adjust the audio cleanup settings by clicking the 1x button in the upper left-hand side of the screen. This will display settings like adjust volume automatically, low pitch filter, high pitch filter, noise cancellation, and click reduction.